Numbers. Other times they're very similar. Then we go on the road and we often log in about 20,000 miles a season, taking these little guys with us, and then we take them back to Texas in the end of the show season, which is October or November. They go right back to Texas in the area that we got them from. So they go home, and I think that's a good idea. We like that. A lot of people say to me, gee, isn't that great? Yeah, I love it too. We're animal lovers, so we think that's important. Um, people say to me often, gee, Cindy, Dave's never been bitten. There must be some kind of trick to it. No, there's no trick. It's no trick. It's, a, it's an art form. Dave is a true snake whisperer. He's awesome with the snakes. He's gentle and kind with them, which is how you need to be when you're working with rattlesnakes. So he's super and uh, he does a great job. You're gonna get to see some awesome things today. Hey guys, who wants to see some rattlesnake stuff today? Huh, you ready? All right. How about if we put our hands together now and give a big round of applause for rattlesnake Dave Richardson. Thing on. Ah. Uh. Is it on? Alrighty. Can everybody hear me? You can hear me in the back. Alrighty. Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, like Cindy said, uh, we do rattlesnake shows all over the country. Uh, we've been to 38 states out of the 50. And before I start each show, I make sure that everyone knows that all of my rattlesnakes, every one of them, have their fangs and they have their venom. I don't do anything to change that. I don't pull the fangs out. I don't break them off. I don't try to milk the venom out of the rattlesnakes. I think we've all seen at one time or another, see maybe on Animal Planet or the Discovery Channel, Somebody takes a venomous snake by the back of the head, they hang the fangs over a beaker or a jar, glass or something, and they apply pressure to the sides of the head and some of the venom comes out. Now I say some of the venom because even if you're an expert at milking venomous snakes, you're only going to get about half of the venom out of the rattlesnake. The other half of the venom still in the snake is more than enough to inflict a terrible, terrible bite. Also, about every two weeks, they get their venom back again. So I'd have to milk them over and over, and they don't tell you on the Discovery Channel or Animal Planet that when you milk these venomous snakes over and over, eventually, you rupture their venom glands and the snake will die. Nobody wants to see the West Texas dead rattlesnake show. So we just keep them as is. At the end of the season, we take them back, let them go, and then I collect up more rattlesnakes for the next year. But this year, it's going to be a little different. After I take them back and let them go, that's it. Uh, this is the last season for me. I've done this for 31 years. I'm an older kid. I'm 70, 75 years old, and that's it. I'm done this year. So uh, after this, uh, that's the end of it. I'll let them go. Everything will be fine. All righty. Now, people say, Dave, if you're going to retire, what are you going to do if you need more money or something like that? Well, I, I looked out for that. And uh, if anything happens and I need a little bit more money, I have another career that I've been practicing for. Here's the other career if I need a little money after I retire. Welcome to Walmart. Would you like a cart? No. no, I can do that. Oh, yeah. I'm all set with that. All righty, moving along. Let me go get my rattlesnake handling gloves. Oh, boy. All righty, rattlesnake handling gloves. Oh, boy. There we go. 
Now, <clears throat> my ref, where are you going? Oh, come on. Alrighty, rattlesnake handling gloves. You can buy rattlesnake handling gloves at any Walmart, Kmart, CVS, Walgreens. You just go in and ask for them by name. I like a pair of rattlesnake handling gloves. I like the vinyl gloves. Now the boys and girls, you will not need rattlesnake handling gloves because even though you have rattlesnakes right here in the state of Pennsylvania, you got to be real careful. You've got Eastern Massasauga, that's the largest of the pygmy rattlesnakes. They only get about 10, 12 inches long. They're kind of a heavy, beefy snake. You get a great big one, you might get one 17, 18 inches long. They have a button on the end of their tail, a little buzzer. It, uh, it's like a rattle, but when they rattle, it's more like a buzz, like a bumblebee, something like that. Well, if you're bitten by an Eastern Massasauga, you've got to have something done. Go to the doctor, go to the hospital, they'll take good care of you. Also, you have timber rattlers, oh wow. Your timber rattlers will get, oh, uh, maybe three feet long, four feet, five feet, who knows, maybe even longer. They're big snakes. They have the same venom my rattlesnakes have, hemotoxic venom, the type of venom you never get immune to. Also, the timber rattler's venom, 17% of that venom in the timber rattler has a neurological component like a cobra. Wow. You get bit by a timber rattler, you're going to have to get something done as fast as you can do it. All righty. Now, let's see. Hey, hey, hey. What are my snakes doing under the table? Hey, my good friends at the IRS say no working under the table. We don't want that. Can't have them under the table. All right. Now, when I made the agreement to come to this fair, and do, by the way, they put together a beautiful family fair, and I am. I'm very proud and pleased to be a part of it this year. I wish I'd have been here several times, but because the old guy's going to retire, that's it. It'll just be this year, but it's really been a pleasure to be here. Now, when we made the agreement to come here, I told them, I said, what I do here with the rattlesnakes is dangerous. So I don't do this free. I told them, I want $8 an hour. I was pretty firm about that. And, and I must have been really firm because they didn't give me any argument at all. Okay, Dave, we'll give you the $8 an hour. Well, how about that? Now, they said, now that we have an agreement, are you going to come with a big sleeping bag and get in the sleeping bag, put all these rattlesnakes in the sleeping bag with you? I told them I can do that, but if I do that, I want $8.50 an hour. Well, they wouldn't go the big money. And I said, well, okay, if you're not going to go the big money, I'm not going to do anything dangerous. Nope, not me. Uh-uh. All righty, let's take a look here. This is, this is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake right here. You see him sticking out his tongue. When he sticks out his tongue, he gathers the odor in the air on his tongue. Then he pulls his tongue back into his head and rubs against the Jacobson organ. And the Jacobson organ identifies the odor for the rattlesnake. So this guy 
He can, uh, he can smell my bad breath. <laughs> he can smell my failing deodorant. And he knows it's the rattlesnake man. And I never, never heard him. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? See, he thinks I'm going to drop him. I do not drop him. Take a look at that tail section. That black and white striped tail section is a class characteristic of all Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. You got them all different shades, different colors, but they'll all have that black and white striped tail section. I'm gonna put them down here on the floor. Hey, come on, you're gonna go on the floor. That's where you wanna be. When you're on the floor, you can't fall. There you go. Oh boy, there you are. See? Good rule of thumb here. If you have a rattlesnake show, good rule of thumb. Do not ever hurt them. They bite for three reasons. You scare them, you hurt them, or they think you're food. Now how do they think you're food? Rattlesnakes are pit vipers. They have heat-seeking membrane on each side of their face. That heat-seeking membrane can sense heat to one thousandth of a degree. If you put your hand in front of their face, I mean, that's one thing if they're crawling around when I'm holding them up. But if you put your hand in front of their face and they sense the 98.6 of your body temperature in your hand, they might bite your hand thinking it's something to eat if they can't connect it with you. So you have to be careful. All right, now I want to show you a rattlesnake that's extremely rare and very unusual. This snake is not an albino. It has what they call a super gene. And that super gene takes the pigment out and the pigment does not go on their skin. So they end up looking like an albino. Let me get this guy. Shh. Oh, hey, that's another thing. You probably wonder when you hear this, when you hear me going, shh, that doesn't mean you're making too much noise. If I do that, shh, the snakes smell my breath. They know it's me, and they know I won't hurt them. And they're not supposed to bite me. Now that's been working for 31 years. I sure hope it keeps working. Let's see. Let's try it. Come on. Oh boy. Hey. You rub them. Here, let me see. You rub their belly. They like that. You like that? Yeah. All righty. Let me pick them up. Take a look at this guy. This is a guy with a super gene. It's a western diamondback rattlesnake. And uh, he has blue eyes. So he's not a real albino. But he has... He has a super gene. <laughs> oh boy. He keeps heading over toward me. But I mean, you can get a look at them after the show. If you want to take pictures, you're certainly welcome. Come up to the rope, you can take pictures of them. I'm going to set him down. He's getting a little nervous. As I set him down, I'm going to rub his stomach a little bit. He likes that. When I, I told another, at another fair a few years ago, I said, the snake likes that. Some guy yelled out of the audience, how do you know he likes it? Well, for heaven's sakes, the snake told me, gee, Dave, I really like that. You know, I mean, how do you know he likes it? If the snake didn't like it, he would not let me do it. Very simple. Alrighty, now moving along here. Uh, 
I think we got to have us a volunteer. Come on, you got to get out of the way. Yeah, you're going to get stepped on. Come on, let's, let's pick it up a little bit. Come on, put it in overdrive. Come on, shift the gears, pop the clutch. Come on, come on. Come on. See, I, I want to get them out of the way so I don't step on them. Get moving around in here. Come on, what are you going to do? You know, it's like this. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him brush his teeth, you know? All right. We're going to see about getting a volunteer. Now, you have to know what the volunteer is going to do. <clears throat> Here we go. Where's Mother Hook? Oh, yeah. All righty. Now, wait a minute. No one, no one comes in here. My lovely wife, bless her heart, that Cindy, does not come in here. No one comes in here except me. Boy, I, I really feel special, you know? Well, anyway, nobody comes in here. The volunteer, volunteer stands out here near Cindy, holds the hook. There'll be a balloon on the end of it. Then I take the balloon, wave it in front of a rattlesnake, and then the rattlesnake pops that balloon and snaps at it at 125 to 150 miles an hour. Now people say, well, how, how do they know how fast they strike? Well, let me tell you this. You watch the rattle, it goes back and forth 55 times a second. They use a strobe light to try to measure that. With the snake striking, maybe at other fairs, you've seen them throw the baseball and they clock how fast you throw it. Some of you folks have seen that, right? You throw the baseball and they clock it like radar. They did the same thing in miniature with the rattlesnake striking. They came up with the slow ones were about 125 miles an hour. The fast ones were 150 miles an hour. All righty. Let's see here. Volunteer. Volunteer stands out there, does not come in here. How about the young lady with the glasses, purple shirt? How about that? Come over here and see my wife, Cindy. Ooh, now while she's talking to the volunteer, I'm going to bring out the meanest rattlesnake from the state of Texas and, and put the snake right here. Now, people wonder why there are some rattlesnakes I can pick up and why are there some that just want to pop balloons. <clears throat> the snakes that pop balloons, I don't do anything with them. I don't spend any time with them. I just clean their area, change their water, feed them, and I spend no time with them at all. The snakes on the floor, the snakes that I pick up, I'll spend as much as 30, 40, 50 hours working with them before we go on the road. That's a, so boys and girls, if you see rattlesnakes in the wild, do not ever touch them and don't ever try to pick them up. Well, that's that. Alrighty, let's check it out with our volunteer. Okay. This is Mabel. Isn't Ma that a pretty name? That's a pretty name. Wow. Mabel, are you afraid of snakes? Uh, no. No, Mabel, that's good. I am scared to death of them, but I need the money. So that, that's that, but uh, not really, but it's fun. Now, how old are you, Mabel? I'm 12. How old? 12, all right, 12. I'm 75 years old. You're 12, I'm 75. How about that? Well, anyway, do you, do you go to school? Yeah. All righty, what grade will you be going into? Seventh. Seventh grade, all right. Mabel's going into seventh grade. Seventh grade was three of the happiest years of my life. 
Boy, did I love seventh grade. I can't help but feel a little bit smarter than the average person, because I spent three years in seventh grade. Wow. Well, maybe that's why I'm doing rattlesnake shows. Okay, Mabel, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring out the meanest rattlesnake from the state of Texas. Then I'm going to take this, but you stay right here, okay? Stay right here. I'm going to wave the balloon at that rattlesnake. He's going to pop it at 125 to 150 miles an hour, and I'm going to give it back to you. Okay, so you'll be all ready for me to give it back to you. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Fun, fun. Oh. Okay. Good, 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 good. What did I do? Pretty hard to misplace something when you're only in a 10 foot by 10 foot thing here. Hey Dave, where'd you set your dogs right here? Hey, I, I felt like that a few times. I just don't cry because people laugh, but I probably felt like that. Alrighty, here we go. The meanest rattlesnake from the state of Texas. Yes! Oh boy. Alright. Oh goody, 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 goody. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear them rattle. You hear that? Music to my ears, I hear that in my sleep. All right, here we go. The meanest rattlesnake from the state of Texas. Let me tell you how mean this snake is. This snake is so mean, if you look up the word mean in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of this snake right next to a picture of my ex-wife. We're talking mean here. Wow. Oh, boy. Ooh, doggies. All right, here we go. Wow. Now, sometimes, not always, Sometimes after the rattlesnake pops the balloon, it comes off the table and it comes after me trying to bite me. If the snake does that, don't watch. Look away. You don't want to see that. I don't want you having nightmares like I do. Hey, I warned them, honey. I warned them, Mabel. I did, so they won't look if that thing comes in. It doesn't do it all the time, but sometimes. All righty, Mabel, here we go. Wait right there, because I'll bring this right back to you, okay? Watch the snake on the table. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. This will not hurt the rattlesnake. I'll prove it to you. Awful. All right, here we go. Watch the snake on the table. Watch them. Don't take your eyes off them. Anytime there. Oh. Perfect. All right, now don't do anything else. They don't want to see you chase me around in here. You're all right, good boy. You're all right, here we go. Oh, man. All right, let's have a big round of applause for Rattlesnake Day. That's awesome. We have a little thank you gift for Mabel. This is a little joke thing. It says rattlesnake eggs, but it really, when you open it up, see what? It sounds like a little rattler in there. So thank you, Mabel. Let's have a big round of applause for Mabel. Thank you very yeah, much, Yeah, that's Mabel. awesome. Thank we have you. those as souvenirs of the Rattlesnake Show. They're $1. If you'd like one, come and see me over here after the show. We have one more show today. So tell your friends to come see it. Don't miss it. It's at 7 o'clock. Have a great time, and we'll see you later. Thanks for being a great audience.